Hey everybody, Robin Dean here for The Riding Obsession. Today I'd like to talk to you about Fobo's Motorcycle Tire Pressure Monitoring System. It allows you to keep track of tire pressure for multiple bikes via your Bluetooth-enabled smartphone. This one was sent to us by Bob Much of FoboBikeSales.com. I got the chance to test this on a four-day trip to the Missouri Ozarks. I had a great time. I was really impressed by the product. Sold in pairs, the installation is really easy. In fact, I got the sheet right here. Installation instructions for Fobo bike sensors. Download and try the app Fobo Bike a few times before you do the setup so you'll be more familiar with the procedure. You'll set the cold tire pressure, then install the app before you install the sensors, select a motorcycle type, name the bike, take a picture, select the units, PSI, Fahrenheit, and then first set the record cold pressures, recommended pressure, by pushing the numbers up or down. On and on and on and on and on. So when you get your purchase, you get a personalized note from Bob that will explain to you how to go about installing the product. And right here in the instructions, if you have any problems installing, you can call him directly. But you're not going to have any difficulty installing the product. We'll get to that in a moment. Here you can see the app, and right now I've only got one motorcycle added to the list. We'll click on the banner here. And right there you can see that my front tire is at 35.4 PSI, and so is the rear. The temperatures are a little bit different though. Yes, it includes that as well. 70 degrees to 73 degrees. One complication is that my Bandit has right angle tire valves, so I had to be sure that the installation would clear the brake rotor. You should measure and compare against the dimensions of the product before you order it. And even then, neutral walking the bike before taking it around the block is a good way to test things out. Alright, as you can see here, we have a brand new unopened box of full bike tire pressure monitors, which I'm about to install on my wife and I's Mutual 1988 Honda Hawk GT. Just open this up here. I'm told I need to be smarter than the box. Oh, there we go. Please read before using. They certainly emphasize toying with the mobile app before you do anything else. And there you go. Two units waiting to be installed. You have your actual Fobo bike modules, key ring clips. These are available in silver and gloss black. I mentioned before that you would not have any difficulty getting these installed, and right here is why. No tools other than this one plastic wrench are required to install or disengage the Fobobike's tire pressure sensor monitor. Essentially, it's a 14 millimeter lock nut, which threads upwards against the module to prevent it from coming off due to centrifugal force. The competition gets that wrong. This is the module to buy. And then appropriately, we have four of these lock nuts. The first thing we want to do is get our motorcycle prepared for the installation by rolling it to where the valve stem is pointed upward and easily accessible. Next, we're going to remove the cap. And then take one of the lightweight plastic locking nuts and thread it open side up or towards the Fobo bike installation. Next, we're going to add a motorcycle to our mobile app before we physically install the Fobo bike module. Motorbike, Hawk, GT, PSI, Fahrenheit, 36, and 36. You may or may not be able to see that, but what I've basically done is set my target tire pressure to 36 PSI. It then automatically sets the minimum to 33 and the high to 45, and that's based on heat. Hit the Done, and now it says, please install the sensor rear tire. So I've done that already, and now I'm moving on to the front. As you can see here, a menu has popped up asking me to please install sensor on front tire and touch sensor with your phone and click OK. If you have already installed the sensor, remove it completely and install again. Taking the module right here, I'm twisting it on just like a tire cap. Hit OK. The tire installation is complete. And immediately I'm alerted that these tires are a little bit low. 32 PSI front and 28.6 PSI rear. Looks like I got some work to do. But the installation isn't quite finished. There's still the lock nut to be tightened down. This simple plastic tool, which is the equivalent of a 15 millimeter wrench, is slightly more compact than such, and I can carry it around with me wherever I go. We take this and we place it underneath onto the bolt, and then we twist this in a loosening direction so that it compresses against the base of our installation. Performing the same action under the rear tire ensures that this is held in place securely. 
and that centrifugal force won't cause any problems. So there you have it. Nice, simple installation. Easy to pair with the mobile device. Rolls around the brake components, no problem, but that's something you really want to make sure is clear. Check your measurements before you do anything. There's still some room for improvement with the product, but mostly on the software side. The app demands that Bluetooth be active at all times, which is a huge battery drain. Even if I'm not on the bike and I'm asleep in the middle of the night, it wants Bluetooth to be on. The other issue is that the software should be backwards compatible. If you don't have iOS 9 or better, the software tends to crash. And if it's anything less than Android Lollipop, you won't even see the app in the Google Play Store. Another issue, two words, landscape mode. I have a phone mount on my motorcycle for when I'm using my phone for GPS purposes. And by default, it doesn't want to let you use landscape mode. However, if you use a third-party app which forces landscape mode, that's what you see. Not good. People use landscape mode, Fobo. Get that together. In all truth, though, minor complaints aside, these really are a great addition to the sport touring motorcycle world. The Fobo Bike Tire Pressure Monitoring System is a good-looking, functionally reliable Bluetooth tire meter that's easy to install, implementing well-programmed software that's informative and multi-bike friendly. At $100 per pair, this technology is truly a bargain. Order your set through Bob Mitch's site today at FoboBikeSales.com. That's FoboBikeSales.com. Or by contacting directly via telephone. For the Riding Obsession, I'm Robin Dean. Safe travels, everyone.